Good day, everyone. I'm Dr. John Ward. I'm the director of the Coalition for Global Hepatitis Elimination at the Task Force for Global Health here in the United States. It's my pleasure to welcome you to uh, uh, our webinar today, where we'll be um, exploring uh, a series of projects that um, uh, we helped um, countries develop to um, evaluate uh, their testing capacity, the burden of disease, to help them uh, strengthen their evidence base to guide development or revision of national testing strategies to reach goals for hepatitis um, elimination. Um, I'll be introducing you to those uh, study teams in just a moment. Um, but I wanted to give you a little bit of a, a background about why testing is so important. When you think about and you look at the history of disease elimination, certain critical um, uh, factors have to be in place. Number one, you have to have an agent that is that can be eliminated by the virtue of its biologic uh, features. Um, you have to have the uh, technical um, uh, feasibility um, to prevent transmission, in our case, through vaccination or prevention of bloodborne exposures to these bloodborne viruses of hepatitis B and hepatitis C, and have to have uh, treatments that can um, lessen the uh, risk of mortality from uh, the infectious agents as we do for hepatitis B and particularly for the curative therapies for hepatitis C. But the other critical feature that makes disease elimination possible is the availability of reliable, very highly sensitive and specific tests so that you can identify someone with an infection before they become clinically ill and at risk of mortality from that infection. So testing is a critical feature of disease elimination. And that's obviously very important for us when we speak of hepatitis elimination with the opportunity to avert over 7 million deaths by the end of this decade if we can scale up testing to reach our elimination goals. Next slide. And as a result, uh, when you look at the key indicators that, been, that have been uh, put forward by WHO, uh, testing and linkage to care is, is a key feature of, um, of tracking uh, the um, capacity that has to be in place to make elimination possible. And as you see here, um, you know, globally, we are lagging behind in the percent of people who are aware of their status of hepatitis B or hepatitis C uh, and getting the care and treatment that they need. And this is true throughout the world, as, as shown here. So we, so we have a critical gap that we have to fill if we're going to be successful in eliminating hepatitis. And for that reason, um, we began to talk about you know, how could the coalition you know, help with that um, um, and begin to think about um, could we have some resources, if you look at the next slide, um, have some resources where you could, you know, uh, uh, help countries uh, evaluate their testing capacity currently, either point of care testing or in laboratories, pull the data together to um, assess their uh, disease burden uh, and how it might vary by, by region or by certain key populations, and then put that information together of the testing capacity and where is your burden of disease and how well does that align? And then that strengthens your evidence base to see what uh, new policies or revision of policies need to be put in place to make testing more readily available or a, a better placement of technologies and, you know, and other strategies that could help you uh, improve your testing and, and linkage to care. Now, with the uh, support of Abbott Laboratories, uh, we were able to uh, develop a series of projects. Um, and you know, Abbott provided the funding, but they had no role in the selection of the countries or in how the uh, projects were conducted. Uh, the countries were, um, were identified through an open solicitation through our network. And then the projects were developed uh, with us, with these uh, local partners who you will be meeting uh, uh, in just uh, a few moments. Um, and we, we really, uh, as you'll be seeing, we want to bring the evidence together, but then in, in so doing, building the local coalitions of partners, laboratories, clinicians, uh, public health authorities that can help um, all of them act on that information 
uh, after the data collection was uh, completed. Next slide, please. So today I uh, have a really uh, exciting opportunity to uh, bring together uh, these projects from the HEAP project, the hepatitis uh, evaluation to amplify testing and treatment um, to really uh, have them report on the status of their findings and uh, how they are moving forward uh, in, with, that, uh, with that information. So you'll be hearing from uh, countries of Ghana, uh, Moldova, Vietnam, Uruguay, and uh, Nigeria, and Malawi. And the three countries that first you'll be hearing from are ones that the projects are fairly well completed. And then the newest projects are the, are, are, will be the last three that you'll be uh, hearing from. <clears throat> 